In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called two sum number two. Input array is sorted. So given a integer array and a target sum, we're given we're asked to find two elements in the array that has a sum that is equal to target. So in this case, we cannot use the same element twice. Um, and uh, there must be a solution in the array. So here you can see we have an example of array and target. In this case, we have one and two, right? So the first element as well as the second element have the sum of nine. So we just going to return that in the array integer array form. And here you can see we have another example of two, three, four, which has the target is equal to six. And then we're going to return their position in this case, one and three. So two plus four, which is six, right? So and here we can see we have another example where we have negative one and zero and uh, the target is negative one because we cannot use the same element twice. So we're going to have negative one plus zero, right? So we must have two elements add up to equal to the target. So therefore, in this case, we, we, uh, we're going to have negative, uh, sorry, we're going to have one and two, right? First element and second element. So to solve this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to use pointers. Right. One way we can do this, we can use a hash table, but this is give, uh, this will give us a uh, linear space complexity. So it's not the most optimal solution. So what we can do instead is we can use a pointers, right? Two pointers to solve this problem by having a pointer on the left and a pointer on the right. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the sum for those uh, elements that the pointers are pointing to. In this case, one plus six, which give us seven. And the target sum is six. So therefore we have to move the left pointer, or sorry, the right pointer one to the left. Now we basically decrease the sum, right? And now the sum is less than the target sum. In this case, one plus four is five. So five is less than the target sum. Now what we have to do is we have to think about how we can increase the sum of those pointers by moving the left pointer one to the left, sorry, one, one to the right. Now we have two plus four, which give us the target sum. So now we find a pair and we can just return those elements position. In this case, it's going to be uh, the second element and the uh, fourth element, right? So now we just return that in a array form. So let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So first, we're going to define um, our base case, right? Because there could be a situation where this, the array is empty. Um, let's see. Sorry. there The constraint says that the array might not be empty. So let's just... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to define our pointers, right? So we're going to define our pointers. And then what we're going to do is while the pointer doesn't even, uh, does not meet, right, does not meet each other or does not go past each other, uh, we can just continue to check to see if the sum of those pointers is equal, uh, the, the, the elements that the pointer is pointing to, the sum is equal to target. So just like binary search, if it's not equal to target, uh, we want to see if it's bigger than target. If, is it, if it is bigger than target, we're going to move the right pointer one to the left, right? And then if it's less than target, we're going to make sure we increase the right left pointer by one, right? So we're going to make sure we do two pointers. Two pointers, um, find the sum, right? And then first we're going to have our integer, so our left pointer, which is point zero n is equal to uh, num numbers dot length. Okay, and then we also have our right pointer, which is going to be n minus one. Now we're going to, once we define the pointers, um, pointers, then we're going to say while left is less than the right, right? Uh, because we cannot use the same element twice, so we're going to have left is, while well, left is less than the right, right? So what we're going to do is first we're going to define the sum, right? So the sum is equal to numbers at left plus numbers at right, right? So once we have the sum, just like I mentioned, we're going to see if sum is equal to target. So if it is, then we're going to return their position, right? So in this case, we're going to return new integer array, right? With these elements, right? So we want to make sure L plus one right plus one in this case because the array is zero based so we want to make sure we inc plus one um, to return the elements position else if we have a situation where sum is less than target so remember if it's less than the target uh, then we're going to um, 
move the left pointer by one, so increase the left pointer by one. Otherwise, we're going to move the right pointer one to the left, right? So we're going to continue to do that. If we found that there's no solution, then we're going to return just negative one, negative one, right? So now let's try to run our code. Let's try with a few more examples. Okay, let's try to submit. So basically, this is how we solve this problem in a linear time complexity as well as a space uh, constant space complexity.